What's poppin' everyone? Besides my brand new light bulbs up here, they seem to keep blowing up. We're going to replace these old recessed lights here with some new LED recessed lights with white trim. It's extremely quick, easy, and really not much more expensive than buying these large light bulbs. You'll see. So here's what the new setup looks like up here, and you may think it doesn't look that much different. Well, my camera adjusts for some of the quality and color differences, so there's that. Plus, you can't actually see the flange on camera either because of light glare and all that, but there is a huge difference. So let's go back in time. The first step is to turn off the lights for a bit so the bulbs cool off, and then unscrew it. Pull down on the flange to remove, and then press on the tabs on the socket to completely take it apart. Okay, let's see that again, but closer up. I will have links for these down in the description, but if you want to shop around, this is what you need to look for. You want this E26 adapter, which allows it to screw into any light bulb socket. Otherwise, there's the hardwired option here, which is typically what I use for new installs. Then you're going to want to choose your LED brightness. I typically go for 2700 or 3000 lumens. These here are 3000 lumens. If you start to go any higher than that, it starts to look like a doctor's office. And this brand in particular has a seven year warranty. So while I'm not sponsored by Sunco, if you do use the Amazon links I have down in the description below, I get a tiny piece of the commission at no extra cost to you. And it really just helps support this channel and keeps me making videos just like this. So check them out if you do decide to get something like this. The springs need to be adjusted for five inch can sizes or six inch. Mine are six inch, so I need to adjust it by unscrewing this, shifting the bracket to the six, and then tightening it back up on both sides. Then we'll simply want to screw on the new light to the old socket here. Then use these spring clips here to lock it into the ceiling. Make sure you tuck the wires out of the way so they don't hang out or get pinched. And then you may need to rotate your actual light to get it to grab onto something and get it really locked in. I'm gonna go through the rest of these really, really fast just so you can see how easy it is. And although it's not real time, this did take just a few moments. Now, if the ceiling around your flange looks pretty ugly, you may need to do some touch up painting around yours. I wasn't too worried about mine because whoever owned this house before me did multiple different shades of ceiling paint, so I have to paint over it anyway. But really, the diameter of mine were just perfect, so I don't have to worry about it in the near future, but future project, paint the ceiling. As you can see, we have very quickly swapped out each one of these old lights with some brand new LED modern recessed lights. Let me know down in the comments below if you know why my bulbs kept burning out on me constantly. I'm very curious. Now, I have never had one of these recessed lights go out on me, but like I said, they're almost as cheap as these light bulbs. Not quite, but they're pretty close. Check out my other videos on installing recessed lights where I do new installs where you drill out the holes and do new wiring and everything. They go into quite a bit of detail. Hit the like button down below to show your support. It's free. Thank you all so much. I'll see you on the next one.